Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is your first time here. Thank you very much for clicking on the video. If not, welcome back. I want to talk to you guys about Smart Summon today. Uh, I think it's a topic that I really haven't spent really much time talking about. And I think for the key reason for that is because when it comes to Smart Summon, um, it, it kind of, it's almost a gimmicky thing. Something that people look at it as a gimmicky thing. Most people will not use it because it's not perfect. It's not the smoothest thing you can have out there. When it comes to Smart Summon, I really do enjoy the system. I absolutely use it. And I mentioned this in my previous video. I use it more times than I can count just because it, even though it doesn't work perfectly, it does work. So what is Smart Summon for those of you guys who are very curious? It's pretty straightforward. You go to your phone, you tell your, your car to come to you. And as long as it's not on a city street, the car will come to you and it is absolutely awesome um i personally whoops i touched the mic i personally use this uh a great deal for when i go shopping uh i'm one of those people that i, sh I go shopping generally when it's a uh, you know nobody's at, at the mall or nobody's at the stores but one of the key things i find is I, it is it does work the car does pull out of a stall and the car will come to you and like I said, although it doesn't work perfectly, it does work well enough for me to not have to go all the way to my car. Uh, this is an interesting thing. For example, at my office here, I park basically on the other side of the building, but I can exit on on a door just very close to me. And so a lot of times what I'll do is I'll exit here because it's been a long day. I'm spending lots of time here doing what I got to do. And especially when I'm after a long day of filming, I basically go out the side door, I pick up my phone and I tell the car to come to me. And even though it's on the other side of the building in the parking lot, it's going to exit and then come all the way around. If you guys wanna see how that works, do me a favor, comment, uh, leave a comment in the comment section and uh, I'll make sure to make a video on that specifically. But when it comes to Smart Summon, the potential for greatness is there. Now, where it fails is the small details the small details such as speed especially uh, if the reason i wouldn't use it too much in a very packed parking lot uh, let's say in a very busy parking lot is because the car is slow to react to certain things right it's slow to get to me it doesn't drive like every other person does and whenever something is different it gets people very pissed off and that's obviously a bad thing we're not trying to piss people off we're trying to get the car to come to me so here, for example, at the office, I use it a great deal, um, especially if I go out the door beside me and then I have the car come to me. If it's raining, it is that much more of a lifesaver and it does really, truly work. The other example of Smart Summon is just having the ability to send my car. Um, so <laughs> again, if you guys want to see videos, more in-depth videos of Smart Summon, uh, let me know. But the key thing I think is, uh, even recently, I'm in a process of moving and it's a pain in the butt. Uh, but one of the key things I noticed is it's kind of fun to have, you know, I got a bunch of stuff in my hand and my wife is unloading on and so forth and so on. So I, what I usually do is I'll get out of the car and then I kind of send the car to her. Um, and then by doing that, I'm actually just getting all the stuff closer so she doesn't have to carry some of the stuff over to the car. And so it works both ways. The bad thing is when I'm sending the car, let's say, to uh, towards my wife, I can't tell the car to go and park somewhere, but rather it just kind of stops wherever I tell it to stop, which is not going to be in a parking stall. Um, in the reverse, of course, if it's in the parking stall and I want it to come to, come to me, it's going to come to me. So there's still a lot of things to work out. Uh, as I mentioned in the last video, I think once FSD... Uh, the FSD ecosystem kind of comes together in one. I think that's when we, we're truly going to see the big improvements. Right now, a lot of people do actually look at this as a gimmick. I do not look at this as a gimmick. I really do honestly use it. Um, and this is smart summon. When it comes to summon, it's pretty straightforward. Summon in general is just forwards or backwards. And that's really where the whole purpose of summon is. But smart summon is going to come, come, uh, come to you out of a stall, back out, you know, check its surroundings, go around and find you basically. And 
I think the potential for the future is absolutely there. I think I'm very excited to see what Summon and Smart Summon are going to do later on down the road. I'm expecting probably anywhere from six months to a year. I'm expecting pretty darn big improvements on Smart Summon, and I think we're going to get that. So once again, if you guys want to see any of this uh, in detail, leave me a uh, you know, comment in the comment section, and I'll make a video specifically you know, showcasing all this stuff. I just don't want to go out there and make a bunch of these videos for you guys. Um, most of you don't care. You just want to hear about it and kind of learn a little bit about it. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Uh, please hit the subscribe button because it does definitely help the channel if you guys like the video. And the thumbs up is for Google's algorithms or YouTube algorithms. It helps to kind of spread the love on the channel and just kind of get it out, you know, get the information out there. With all that said, everybody, please try it safe. Be careful out there. And if you are using FSD or enhanced autopilot or pi uh, autopilot, uh, do me a favor and keep an eye on the road. Everything that you see on the cars is pretty much beta, so it is your responsibility. Everything that happens to the car and inside the car and outside of the car is the driver's responsibility. So drive carefully, everyone. That's it. I gotta go, man. I need my coffee. Ciao with you guys later. Bye.